What's good, family? <sighs> this is the second part to Babylon, the industry. I want to finish this out with the women, the females that they use as agents. And like I was saying yesterday, when you have people like Rihanna, I, I told y'all about Dubai. Okay, now let me tell y'all what they do to these niggas in the industry. Like I said, a lot of them are used as what niggas on the streets would, would refer to as setup hoes. Like, say for instance, uh, I'm going to say Rihanna. I'm just going to say Rihanna. I don't know why she keep popping in my mind. But uh, they may use her to go get information from Chris Brown, like to see what he doing, what he got going on. Uh, you know, like a spy. That's the word I'm looking for. They have a lot of them in the industry like that. You see the same shit happening over and over again. A lot of times, well, right before these dudes died, they was hanging around these certain female rappers or female uh, singers. Strangely enough, or they send the female in there to cause chaos. They uh, send a female in there to get information about their whereabouts, what they're going to be doing. Because niggas pillow talk, so they know niggas' weakness is money and hoes. I told y'all, these are the tools that they use. Hold on right quick, y'all. Let me pause this. Ah, right, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. And they make a lot of their money, like I said yesterday. <clears throat> They're basically high-paid escorts. Okay? They, they don't make a lot of money off of record sales. That is not where they make their money at. But you will always see them overseas. And... The more that they do for they higher ups, then the more marketing and promotion and the more life they make them motherfuckers. The name becomes bigger. So you got to understand They are not, the music business is not 90% talent, 10% business. It's 10% talent, 90% business. All right, y'all? Youngsters. I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you are trying to shoot for that industry... Do not sign to nobody. You are your own entity. You have access to the whole www.worldwide internet. And you can sell your own shit. You just have to put in the work. Do not. Because when y'all signing them contracts... Y'all are signing with demons, unconsciously or consciously. And the reason being, people are like, oh, they just selling, they just doing uh, ritualistic shit and witchcraft. Y'all got to understand why they do that. They do that because that's who their bosses are. These spirits, these entities, these otherworldly beings. 
once y'all realize that humans ain't the only thing on this earth, <laughs> y'all don't understand. You know, a lot of people tell you about what they do, but they don't tell you why they do it. I'm giving y'all the why. Because they have to feed those demons through their contractual obligations. Niggas are the biggest fools, the easiest to control. This is why rap music has become bigger than any other genre of music in 2022, in the last few years. Like rap, it used to be R&B, rock, pop, all that shit. But it's like right now, rap is the only only thing that's in that lane that they promoting. That's why you see everybody trying to do it. It's a trap. They need y'all souls, youngsters. They need y'all energy. That's why they pay you so much motherfucking money. They not paying for your talent because they believe in you. That's not what they doing. When they offer you five, ten million dollars, that ain't shit. That's like five dollars to them. Niggas is the only one who think that's something. A million dollars is not shit. Five million dollars ain't shit. But only to niggas. You go right now. Go test this theory out. Go ask a business owner. Just say, hey, if somebody offered you a million dollars right now to go kiss that lady on the lips, would you do it? A businessman gonna be like, hell no, nah, that ain't enough motherfucking money for me to do nothing. I got that. You see? Niggas is the only one who put that much value on shit that don't have no value. That paper notes. That's not backed by nothing. But anyway... So, if you youngsters trying to get into the music business and you have a major celebrity that you might be crushing on and you ain't really nobody but she coming out the blue in your inbox to talk to you and fuck with you, you are being set up. Okay? Y'all niggas need to know this. Stop thinking with your dicks. Stop thinking with your ego. Thinking you somebody. The, the industry don't give a fuck about your name. Jay-Z not that shit to them. He is a worker. Y'all think Jay-Z got... Y'all think Jay-Z something. Them people that he work for don't give a fuck about Jay-Z. Jay-Z, he expendable. They can kill him at any time at the push of a button. When they done using him, because it's time coming. And not because of them. It's because of Big Mama. Cleaning up the universe. Getting the trash up out of here. They are doing the same thing. Y'all got to understand, most of these celebrities come from poverty, right? So their mentality is still going to be there 
in that poverty state of mind. Just like how you got your little hoes in the hood that set up niggas, set up all the dope boys with all the money and shit. It's no different than the music industry. They just high paid hoes. So the next time y'all be, and a lot of them have diseases. A lot of them, that's why you see, again, you see them being exposed. A lot of them have herpes, HIV. See, they be telling y'all in, in y'all face, like with Nick Cannon. I'm trying to, I'm trying to school y'all on some shit. But y'all, y'all think that lady that had a HIV that was fucking with uh, Nick, Nick Cannon and Chris Brown.